What's up, y'all? Podcast episode 29. Had to get gas before work. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Man. I feel like I'm in my feelings this morning a little bit. <clears throat> Just kind of It's just sort of frustrated with myself, more or less. Man, I'm just, I don't know, just that Monday morning blues. It's tough sometimes, you know, you, you work all week, you know, for the weekend and you have a good weekend and then you got to do it again Monday morning. Just doesn't feel like I have enough time for the people who are most important to me. And yeah, I know. We go to work to support those people, but I don't know, man. Part of me just feels like it's a waste. It's a waste of time. And and just like everyone else, you know, I'm constantly finding or searching for an escape plan from the rat race you know how can I consolidate my time make more money you know and and spend my time with the people that I love who knows man turn this heat down a little bit I just, uh, I I find myself like in these moments of time where I'm like, and not that I don't always recognize it, but just little moments of time where I just really recognize, you know, how big my, my baby's getting and how much she's grown. And, uh, felt like this morning I had one of those moments. It's tough, man. It's tough when you don't get enough time with her in the first place. But then the time that you do get just goes by so fast. Then I find myself just like in these moments where I just recognize, I guess, lost time. You know, and I'm I'm thankful for the life that I live, you know? And I understand, you know, people are out there that praying they had the life that I that I have you know and that's no like not me being braggadocious or anything I mean it's just the truth but you know am I wrong for wanting more out of life am I wrong for wanting more time with my family I don't think so, man. You know, I don't think I'm wrong for wanting to spend quality time with my baby, you know, as she's growing, as she's getting older. And, uh, you know, I just, sometimes it hits me a little bit harder than, than other times.
But yeah, man, I'm sorry to come off so strong in the morning. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't have a plan for these podcast episodes. I literally, my plan is like, oh shit, you know, it's been a couple days. Let me hop on here, do a quick episode while I'm on my way to work. That's my plan. You know, and I don't always know what the hell I'm going to say or I don't have a script or anything. <laughs> it's literally off top and you know, a lot of a lot of these episodes I feel like I come off as like preachy or just like trying to spread some guidance or wisdom or some bullshit, you know, but most of the time it's me just talking to me like like all this advice and stuff that I feel like I give whatever it's more or less just trying to give myself that same advice with hopes that maybe it helps you know create more freedom pause this real quick my wife is calling me so I'll, I'll be right back sorry man wifey called she said uh did you know Nora knows the national anthem <laughs> I guess they were playing it on the radio she was singing along kiddos just getting bigger and bigger man <clears throat> Yeah, sorry again for uh, coming off a little strong this morning. Can't get my camera right, it's shaking. But, uh, you know, like I said, man, I just feel like I want to talk about stuff that's on my mind at the time. And, you know, it's important, man. It's important to kind of check in with yourself, you know? And, uh, yeah, man, it's important. Got some, uh, got some new music dropping this week. On Friday, my, me and my homie Sadistic got a new Susco's dropping, new Susco's song dropping called Wild Horse. Um, it's a good song, man. It's one, uh, we've had in the, in our vault for a while and it's just, Now's a good time to drop it, so about to do that. Uh, outside of that, uh, yeah, man, we're just uh, consistently dropping, so that's where we're at. Next week, we got another Susco song dropping. <laughs> just wanted to sort of break, break it up a little bit, you know, start dropping some, some different stuff, you know, that way you know kind of where I'm at who I'm working with and where we're headed, man. So. Yeah, man. I, uh, it's just been on my mind lately, you know, to, to try to find an escape plan. You know, not an escape from life, but just an escape from, from the rat race, you know. You know, it just, it's astonishing to me how much money shapes our life. You know, the chase of money, the trap of money. You know, it's just, it's just interesting to me, you know. You know, going back to my main points, I, you know, we, we spend so much time away from the people that we love the most to support them, you know, financially. But at the same time, it's like, there's people out here that are doing it differently. You know, they're, they're not chasing money. Money chases them. And so they're not giving their, their hours for dollars more or less. 
and uh, man, that's that's where I'm trying to be. That's where I'm trying to be. You know, I want I want to be able to support my family without having to waste so much time away from them. You know, how can I support my family by being with my family? You know? Is there a way for me to make money while I'm with my family? You know? <clears throat> I mean, that's the golden question. I'm sure every every parent asks, you know, themselves and the world. And Sometimes I just feel like I wasn't made for the uh, the nine to five. And not that other people are, but it just feels like it hits me a little bit harder than those around me, you know. And not to like again, not to be cocky or anything, but it just feels like I worry about that a lot more than than the people around me people around me whether they're numb to it or what sometimes it just feels like uh, I'm worried more about how can I get out of this place sometimes the people around me are like man how can I move up in this place and I just see I see the trap that day jobs are man and it's hard for me to overlook you know, you try to have that, you try to be sort of blind to it just because you know, like at the end of the day, you're there for your family. But at the same time, it's like, I don't want to have to kiss somebody's ass to have to move up in a place that I don't even want to move up in, you know? I just, I've always been creative. I've always been um, artistic. So how can I put that to use in helping support my family, you know? How can I get out of this? Because I don't really, yeah, money's important, you know, and I want to make a certain amount every year to be able to sustain myself. But the way I see it is if, if I can make a little bit less than what I'm making now, but also happy and also, you know, spending more time with my family, time with my family means more to me than a couple extra bucks. And it's tough for me to talk about this with family who, that's all they know is working day jobs. That's all they've done their whole life. They don't they don't understand that there's other ways out there. Sometimes sometimes it's the people who are closest to you who still don't understand. But you have this bigger vision in your head that there's more to life. There's more to life than this. And I go back to, you know, am I wrong for wanting more out of life? Am I wrong for wanting more freedom, more time with my family? I just, uh, I can't answer that without just saying no, you know? And, you know, maybe that sounds like I'm being cocky or whatever. I'm not better than a day job. I just feel like my time is worth more than what a day job is worth. Maybe that's the wrong perspective to some, but to me, <clears throat> but hey, you know, buckle in, just remember why you're there. 
weekend can't come soon enough. I just don't feel like that's right, man. I don't I don't feel like I should be constantly wishing and hoping for the weekend and only five days to go, only four days to go, three. Hey, it's Thursday, next, tomorrow's Friday. Like, I don't like living like that. Sorry for my camera, man. It just keeps spinning. But I don't like living for the weekend. In fact, it's annoying. I feel like I waste my time. Waste so much time and energy just like involved and in dumb shit like waiting for the weekend or waiting for, waiting to be off the clock. That's just stupid, man. Just dumb. Yeah, I make 50K a year, but how much of that time is wasted away from my family? Does my family really reap the benefits of that? I make 50k a year but my daughter gets three hours a night with me and on the weekend she might get eight to ten per day you know you got to factor in sleep you got to factor in all these different elements wild to me that uh, she spends her best time of the day with somebody else and I pay them to do that I pay them to take that time away from me I pay somebody else to watch my daughter grow up and they don't care no fault of their own they just have 40 other kids that they're doing the same thing with. That shit just sucks to me, you know? It sucks that I literally pay somebody else hundreds of dollars a week to get the best time with my daughter. All for the sake of a fucking dollar bill. It's a trap, man. But whose fault is it, you know? It's my own. I didn't do enough. I didn't hustle hard enough. You know? Can't blame nobody else. Because if there's people out there that have the freedom with their kids, their family, their wives, making money while they're with their families, there's no reason why I can't. So why haven't I? You know, name your excuse. pill to swallow it's a hard pill to swallow so hard it puts a fucking lump in my throat it fills me with anger you know and I can't be mad at anybody else but myself You know, it makes me mad that I've been making music, what, 12, 13 years now? And I'm still 
just a little bit further than where I was at when I started. Whose fault is that? It's my own. Didn't hustle hard enough. Not when there's people out here who are making good money off their music, who are able to stay home with their family. Yeah, they might do concerts, they might do shows, they might be away from their family, but it's a different type of work. You know, everything comes with the sacrifice, but is the sacrifice that you're choosing ultimately worth it? Is it really going to pay off for you in the end, the way that you see fit? Maybe I need to make more sacrifices, different sacrifices than what I have been. You know, I'm already sacrificing time with my family for the sake of a dollar bill. I don't know, man. I'm sorry to get so deep. need to go harder, need to hustle harder, hustle smarter, you know, if we're going to be, if we're going to be using up our time, why aren't we using it to the, our biggest advantage, you know, if we have already a set amount of time every day, why aren't we using our time to our advantage? Why aren't we using our time to create more time with our family? Create more, sorry man, my storage ran out on my phone. Might have to give me a new phone here soon. Yeah man, thanks for uh, listening to me ramble this morning. I know it's kind of, um, I guess just deep shit that I needed to hear from me you know but uh yeah man thanks for the constant support thanks for the love thanks for taking time to listen I appreciate it um yeah let me know how you guys feel about uh these new songs dropping and we'll kind of go from there Thanks again, man. Just wanted to tap back in and just, just close it out. So, much love. Hope everyone has a good day, has a good week. Let's get it. Let's remember why we're doing what we're doing. Yeah. Peace.
even bring a horse to the water, but you can make a motherfucker drink. So I can't be no help unless I really keep doing me. I'ma keep doing me. Once I focus on helping another motherfucker, I become the missing link. Damn, you can bring a horse to the water, but you can't make him think. Make a relief, drop a lesson that'll be good for their progression. They ain't gonna take away gracefully. Take it from me. Mind over form like a faucet in my mind, like I'm breaking the sink. But truth is, I might as well be useless If I can find a way to elevate, I'm on the way to the break Using a bit of magic, gotta get rid of pitiful habits I ain't got much on my sleeve, got no tricks to fix with a rabbit But I'm with the static, flexible like I'm fit with elastic If it get drastic, I'll be quick to just flip this shit like gymnastics Gotta focus on myself as a whole If I don't, how am I gonna be expected to teach? Once I finish, I'll be stretching with a limited Like to get to my people, there won't be any mistake in my reach